Good morning, it's Lisa with Lisa Heal Yourself. And today I wanna to talk about 24 seven symptoms. 24 seven symptoms means a 24 seven sympathetic stress response. So if you are having lots of different symptoms, anything from chronic fatigue syndrome to pain, fibromyalgia, dizziness, uh, st uh, digestive issues, any um, symptoms that are flaring all over your body and they're constant and you never get a break from them, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, so it could be physical, mental symptoms, constantly going, constantly. You feel chaotic, you feel out of control, you feel like none of your techniques work to stop them, so you feel like they're on an on button, an automatic on button, continuing, right? When this is happening, you can be absolutely 100% sure that you are in constant fight or flight. And so you may be focused on diet, you may be focused on supplements, you may be focused on you know, lifestyle, you may be focused on a certain protocol. None of that can really work when you're in constant um, sympathetic dominant state. So if you are in fight or flight, none of those can really take hold. So you can be 100% certain if your symptoms aren't turning off and they're loud and they're constant and they shift and they cause you panic or um, you, you, you feel like you're in chaos from them, you can be sure that your system, 100% sure that your system is in constant fight or flight. And the most important thing that you need to do is turn off the sympathetic state. You need to turn off fight or flight. The only thing that matters at that point is turning it off so that you feel safe, so that you get moments of calm, moments of peace, moments of no symptoms, moments of living life, moments of being immersed in the day. If you cannot get those, there's no point in doing the other protocols. I mean, yes, eat a good balanced diet, have a good environment, all those things, you know, all the things, but there's no spend, there's no point in spending hours a day on protocols or whatever you think that you need to do until you can turn off the stress response. So it is the most important and critical first thing. So how do you do this? You need to feel safe. So messages of safety. Your brain is getting messages wrong right now. It's sending you in high alert. It's putting you in a high alert state, looking, looking, looking for danger, scanning for danger. There's a symptom, there's a symptom, there's a symptom, there's a symptom, there's danger, there's danger, there's danger, there's danger. I need to stay on high alert for more danger. And every symptom that you get pings the response that you need to keep staying on high alert. So we need to accept what's happening. You need to accept your symptoms and start to look for ways to feel safe. So you can tell yourself, we, we went over it in the last video, there's certain things that you can do to turn off the stress response. Um, whatever brings you comfort, physical comfort, emotional comfort, spiritual comfort, Whatever makes you feel good, things that you like, things that make you feel comfortable, cozy, happy, loved, safe, whether it's warming a cup of tea, having your favorite blanket, watching a favorite show, um, doing a certain activity, um, listening to meditation, going outside in nature, um, you know, maybe it's a certain essential oil or maybe it is a physical protocol that gives you comfort. Like I know a lot of times when I'm at my worst, if I do enemas, um, it will stimulate this, the uh, parasympathetic response. It will bring me down. It will calm my system down. It's a very parasympathetic thing to go to the bathroom, to go number two. And when you're really getting things out in the case of an enema, your whole system is brought down from fight or flight into parasympathetic. So it's not just getting out toxins, but it's actually bringing you down. So if there's any physical things that you can do, like 
any avoidance um, patterns or behaviors that you have that you like to do that have worked for you in the past to soothe you, to make your symptoms better, to make you feel good, to make you feel safe, anything like that. It's not a bad thing to do these things, whatever you can do to feel safe, to feel like you're truly safe in your body and your body doesn't have to be on constant high alert. That is the only and most important thing that you need to do. So again, don't get sidetracked by all the other protocols. The only thing that you need to do is get out of this state and you'll know when you're out of it because you'll have moments of peace. You'll have moments of no symptoms. You'll have moments of calm. You'll have moments of smiling or happiness or enjoyment or you will be distracted. You won't notice your symptoms. Until this happens, if you're experiencing 24-7 symptoms that you're constantly tracking and on high alert from and you can't settle, then the only thing that matters is putting your body in a safe state. So talking to yourself, saying you're safe. This is just your brain got it wrong. It's, it's, you have an, a neural pathway that is well-worn and your body is on high alert. It feels like it needs to protect you. It feels like you're in danger. It's sending circular messages of danger, but you're okay. You're safe. Let's try to see what you can do, anything that you can do. Maybe somatic tracking helps, right? Maybe meditation helps. Maybe breathing helps. Maybe getting outside and walking or even exercising helps. Whatever helps you because you're unique, you're different. Anything that's helped you in the past, helped you get rid of a symptom, helped you feel calmer, helped you feel safer. Like, don't push yourself when you're in the state. Don't go do things like um, go out with a whole bunch of people in the grocery store or try to run around the house and get tasks done. Don't do anything that's stimulating. Don't do anything that would put you on high alert. Don't sit on your phone all day and listen to the pings or scroll so social media and feel bad about yourself or bad about the world. Um, the only thing that you want to do is feel good, feel safe, feel okay, feel loved. When you can accomplish that, and that could take, you know, days, could take weeks, could take months. However long it takes, you stick with that. When you notice that you are out of constant surveillance, constant danger mode, constant, you know, fight or flight, when your body can relax, when the symptoms settle, then you can do the protocols. Then you can start to challenge yourself. Then you can do brain retraining. Then you can really go for those protocols or really shift things around. Challenge your, you know, you can work on things. But until then, messages of safety, messages of love, self-love, safety, reminders, physical, mental, emotional comforts, things that bring you joy, peace, love, and safety. Constant reminders of safety. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's a good reminder and I will see you in the next video.